Basically half of my body is hairless, including some sensitive areas like my toe and my chin. And um, you guys, I literally wasn't sure about this. I might actually try this on my bikini line. Not like areas that I shouldn't. If you were born with unfortunate genetics and you're a hairy wookabee, you might have certain hairs that go like down your leg to your knee, or you might have a happy trail on your tummy. Hi, I do. I am considering using these on that area because these are IPL devices that literally get rid of hair. And I need to show you what they have done to my armpits and my toe. So let's start from the beginning, why don't we? I tried an IPL device from Kenzie when the pandemic first happened, and it basically made one of my legs hairless. Now that I've stopped using it, I'm trying to see if the hair grows back and kind of what happens. Well, in that time, I wasn't able to use that device on areas like my armpits or my chin, things like that. I found something that I can because it's actually cooling. But this is from you like, which is the Sapphire device that I have been using on one armpit. And I actually grew up my armpits a little bit for you today. I I want to show you my before and afters because holy guacamole, one of my armpits is looking much less hairless. And the reason this is fantastic is because it has this cooling technology. So unlike other IPL devices, it's not actually hot on the skin. It actually has a little snowflake on it because I'm a little special snowflake. No, but it's actually kind of icy. Well, they then launched this purple one. And because it's purple and this is actually more powerful, this is I think 19 joules and this is 21 joules of energy. I was like, Bitch, do I need to try this? And I asked you in an Instagram poll if I should just switch to start using this because I was so excited for it and it's much more lightweight. And you <laughs> told me on the instant gram, Cass, be a good skincare acne big sister and isolate the variables and use this on another area of the body or on the other armpit. And so you know what babies, that's what I did and that's what I'm going to do. I have been using this on my toe. We need to talk about this and if you're squeamish, let me know. But I have a much more hairy toe than I would like to admit. And when I was in aesthetic school, like learning about waxing, I would literally wax the hair off my toes and I am uh, so done with it. I have been using this on my toe and I have been playing around with both of these and I want to speak about some of the differences comparing the you like sapphire versus the air 3 and share my experience with the pros and cons of each just because they are quite different when it comes to sensitive areas like my bikini line I am interested in using one over the other and yes we are talking about the hair because we don't stray away from it the price point is not all that different this one is $359 and this one is $379 and with both of these you can get discounts and coupons again with any IPL device I've ever seen online, there is always a discount or a coupon to be found. So I would say never buy these full price. I do have a discount coupon if you would like that. I don't get any kickbacks from that. So it's literally just a discount that you like is provided to you if you want to try some of these. But again, regardless of where you're looking online, always get these on sale because uh, you can always find a coupon. Now with the $20 difference, how do they actually differ? I think the biggest thing for me was actually the packaging and the weight. They say that this weighs less than an iPhone. Now I don't have the super big iPhones, but I will say it's about the same weight as my iPhone, which is amazing. And for those who maybe um, can't do a pull up, or that many push-ups like me. This is something that while it's lightweight, it is actually much easier to use and maneuver, especially if you're doing all sorts of areas. This one is substantially heavier. I actually love the ergonomics of this. I find that they're both really easy to hold. And the thing about them is that they're longer, so there's more grip area. Whereas like with the Kenzie or with the other products, I just found that I couldn't grip it as easily. Now with both of these, you can either press down once to flash or you can press down and hold and then they flash and drag. And neither of these flash without being flush to the skin, um, and that is a safety mechanism. And that also gets into the second part of this, which is safety and the external package, because these come with goggles. The box is not the biggest point for me, but I do like the box of the purple one better than the green one. Both of the boxes are vegan leather, and it's just a nice way to store your device if you so want to. I honestly don't really use the boxes that much. I usually just lay this down on my bathroom countertop, but this one has a flat bottom, so like this actually stands up flat on a surface if you want it to. I don't think it makes the biggest difference, but if you're spending $300 plus on a device, you should know all of the details to make sure it is something that would or wouldn't work for you. Now, what's interesting about these that I really think sets them apart is that they come with glasses. I have worked in settings where IPL is done professionally, so I have IPL goggles. And let me tell you, those goggles are like a couple hundred dollars each. So now you don't need goggles, especially because you can just look the other way while flashing. You can close your eyes. They say that it's safe if you don't use glasses, but I'm of the mindset that I don't want to get 
get these high intense pulse light flashes near my eyes if I don't have to. So for me, I have the goggles, I use them. But with the U like, they actually come with the little goggles and with the little glasses that are specifically made for IPL devices. Now, a lot of people think that they can use sunglasses. Sunglasses do not protect against IPL. IPL is intense pulse light. It's very specific, high intensity wavelengths that shoot themselves into the skin, find contrast in the skin, and basically burn off the little hairs. It's great, but you do need special goggles to make sure that you're protecting from those wavelengths. This comes with them. So even though the price is like 350 or 370, I feel like I'm getting a $100 pair of glasses, if not $200 pair of glasses for free. So it makes more sense financially. Now, the way that IPL works, again, it is not laser. It is intense pulse light that shoots itself into the skin and it looks for contrast. And in order for it to work optimally, you do still have to shave. Well, the you like specifically this purple one does come with a little soft shaving razor. So that is also a bonus if you like don't have a shaving razor, which I'm sure you do, which is why we're probably IPLing in the first place because we're sick of shaving. But in case you don't, they provide you one. And I do feel like that is a nice thing because if I'm paying 350 plus dollars for something, it better come with all of the things that I need. Now, the whole goal is that over time, you won't need to shave anymore because the IPL literally gets rid of the hair. And I will say there is a difference in how these work. Obviously, my toe is a little bit different than my armpit, which is a little bit different than my happy trail, which is a little bit different than the hairs on my chinny chin chin. But this is supposed to work in about four weeks and you can do your whole body in like 10 to 15 minutes. This one works in two to three weeks. And I will say this has made a massive difference on my toes. Again, this one is like 19 joules of energy. This one is 21. So it is substantially more powerful, but it's not substantially hotter. They both have the cool technology and neither of these have ever gotten hot on my skin, which is why I can use both of them like on my chin, on my armpits, on sensitive areas because they literally don't hurt. Whereas again, I've never been burned by other IPL devices, but those other IPL devices did get hot on my skin or they did get warm where these have never done that. The other thing is that they say you can do your whole body, I think 10 to 15 minutes for this. You can do this one in 10. Again, keeping in mind that right now I'm focusing on my toe, but if I did my toe, my leg, my happy trail, my armpit and my chin, I should probably start from the chin and then go down. But if I did that, could literally take under 10 minutes for my entire body. And I think the premise of getting this done in two to three weeks and seeing results that quickly, not 100% results, but like starting to see a difference and doing that in like five, 10 minutes, that's the biggest issue. I don't wanna sit here for an hour and have to IPL one of my legs, which again, I did. I used to listen to podcasts and literally IPL my leg. I would spend just an hour doing it with my little with my little goggles on, feeling like a badass. And now I am a half hairless bad. But being able to do this in the bathroom just makes it so much quicker. The other difference is that this one has five intensity levels, whereas this one only has three. Now you would think that the more expensive one has more levels, it doesn't. This one has a comfort mode for the body. So if you're super, super sensitive, first off, both of these are good for sensitive skin, but I would say this one's better. And even though this one has five levels, I'm the type of person I either put it on number five and I just go balls to the walls, I go ham, which is funny because I'm a vegan, or I just put it on one and I go really lightweight all over my body. There's really no one between, I'm just level one or level five. With this, having level one, two, and three, I actually like that there's less choices. It's just easier for me to use, and I'll use the level five on the coarse hair on my body, and then I'll use the level one on like my chin hairs or any delicate hairs, like my little happy trail. Now, it's very important to distinguish that eye peel won't get rid of vellus hair. You know that soft little baby peach fuzz that might be on your arms or face? It's not gonna get rid of that. This looks for contrast. So if you have wiry chin hairs, if you have armpit hair, if you have toe hair like I do, or if you have those really dark hairs on your arm, this is going to look for that contrast and that's what it's going to get. Now, both of these devices do a really good job with different skin tones, but remember, if you have black ebony skin and black coarse hair, if there's no contrast, these won't pick up on it and it won't work. And if you have really white pale alabaster skin and really white pale see-through hair, there's no contrast, it's not going to work. And I think that's so important because a lot of people don't realize that. If you don't have contrast between the hair, it's not going to be able to work and you might do better with something in clinic like an Alexandrite laser or like actual laser hair removal or electrolysis where they literally like shove the hot pokey rod into the skin and burn the hair. But if you do have any amount of contrast, this is fantastic. Now I will say that when it comes to how lightweight they are, for the extra 20 bucks, for the glasses, for the shaving razor, for how quickly I can get this done, and because it's purple, I do like the purple one. This is my personal favorite, but it's also because it's within my budget. And if you're trying to find the right IPL for you, I would say that if you're someone who has super sensitive skin, this is 
is going to be better. Because it has the gentle settings, because you can use it on the face, on the armpits, etc., and you can do it so quickly, but you have the option to go more intense, this is just a little bit more versatile. And again, IPL is used sometimes for things like acne marks or for even darkness in the underarm areas. So as a bonus, if you're trying to get rid of hair, yes, you can use either of these or any IPL technology to work on dark underarms or dark areas of the skin because these can help. That being said, if you are someone who likes more options, if you want to have those five modes, if you're someone who wants to stand this up in your countertop and you want to save a little bit more money, this one might be right for you. Again, it's $20 cheaper. I think it's worth it for this. When I originally got this last year, it did not come with glasses for me. I think it might come with the glasses or goggles now, but depending on how much that extra $20 and that budget is for you, this one might be right. With both of these, I think the most important thing is the sapphire like cooling technology. If it didn't have the ice technology, this wouldn't be anything special. But I really think because it's cooling, it is safe for literally my face and my sensitive areas, which with other IPL devices that I did spend like 250 bucks on, I couldn't do that. I couldn't use them in the sensitive spots. And again, this one I've only been using on my toe. I am thinking of doing this armpit that I haven't done yet and just taking before and after pictures. And this one that I have been using on my armpit, absolutely phenomenal. Both of them come with a two year warranty and both of them have unlimited flashes, but I don't think there's a way to switch out the flasher. I actually want to look into that because it's like, what happens when the flashes are done? Are they infinite? It says unlimited, so it should never expire. But I know that other brands actually sell you the little flashers and make you replace the cartridges. Is this just built so well that they don't need to be replaced? Or if it breaks, do you have to buy a new one? That is a question that I have as a consumer and I want to understand it better. But overall, which one is right for you is going to depend on if your skin is a candidate for IPL. Again, if your skin is sensitive or if you're a little bit more price sensitive. Either way, I'm really excited to continue sharing my results with you. Again, I am thinking of doing this kind of like on my inner leg area. And especially with how comfortable this is to use in my armpit area, I never would have considered IPLing sensitive areas like my little happy trail if I didn't try the cooling technology. But I think that you should have all of the information you need to make the right choice for you and your body care. And if you have the money for laser and want to get that done versus doing it at home versus just shaving the rest of your life, that is your prerogative. And you should have the right information and the science behind how these things work to make the right decision for your body. Again, a huge thanks to you like for working with us on a portion of this video and they have provided a coupon code if you want to use it. And just remember to take before and after pictures when you're using these, send them to me on Instagram. Yes, your acne big sister is asking you to send her photos of your before and after armpit or leg or toes. I don't want any other body parts. Like don't take that as an open invitation because you know how weird and nasty some people get on the internet. Overall, always remember to reapply your SPF, especially if you are going out in the summer with your newly hairless legs or armpits, which I've actually never put sunscreen in my armpits. I don't think you need to. I don't think you should, but always remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically, and always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video or in my Instagram DMs if you have skincare scientific hair pictures of your before and after results. Thank you. Curiosity killed the cat, and it's probably going to kill me. This is, well, nah, this is just my life. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.